Hey friends, Ash here with Sense, back with Chelsea for another smell and rate video. Today, she's gonna be smelling and rating some citrus fragrances. Got some niche, got some designer, some cheap, some expensive, got it all. Like always, she's gonna smell the opening and the dry down and give us a one to 10. And at the end of the video, hopefully we'll have a top three. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Today's video is sponsored by FragranceUSA.com. I've got a link in the description to their website. What's the website? USA.com. <laughs> FragranceUSA.com. Yeah, that's that's better. <laughs> and if you go to their website, you'll find great prices on niche fragrances, designer fragrances, and you can use this code right here to save yourself a little extra money. They've got fast shipping. Everything is authentic. It's legit. So shout out again to FragranceUSA.com for sponsoring the video, not USA.com, they did not sponsor this one, unfortunately. <laughs> I wonder what even that would take you to. Probably a government website. Probably. But it would redirect, yeah, maybe, probably. I don't know. Okay, where do you want to start? Your choice. Uh, let's start in the back, in the back right. Over here? Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's <laughs> caught me by surprise. I was not expecting that, oh, wow. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna kick things off with BDK Parfums. Citrus Riviera, which that name is pretty good for a bunch of citrus fragrances. It's got it in the name. Yeah. It's not what? bad. It's not bad. Hey, guess what though? What? It smells citrusy. <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> the opening smells really good. The dry down, it smells really good, but it dries down to like a rindy citrus, which I mean, I am completely appreciative of. I love a good rindy citrus You're smell. Okay with it. Yeah, no, I'm I'm totally into it. Right. And but the opening is fantastic. Like I actually really like this opening. I'm glad that I picked the back right to start with because this is a good solid one to start out with. I like the bottle too. Yeah, I like the bottle. It's classic. Blue. Yeah. I guess what it's not. What? It's not a silver robot named Phantom. What does that even have to do with anything? <laughs> I'm just saying the bottle looks nice and classic. <laughs> I thought you were like coming with a joke or something that made sense. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> guess what? <laughs> it does make sense because it's a classic bottle. Yeah. It's classy bottle. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's that, a classy bottle. That's true. It is not a child's toy. Exactly. That's what I was going for when I said that. Um, but anywho, I do like this fragrance a lot. Uh, I'm actually, I'm gonna give it a nine. Oh, starting off strong. I really like it. I like, I love the dry down, yeah. the, the dry down, like I don't get a ton of like the rindiness in the opening, mm -hmm. but it's like they save it for the dry down. So it's got I, a little switch, switch Rooney. Yeah. So I can, I, I can really appreciate that. I like that a lot. The next one is 4711 <laughs> Lemon and Ginger. Ooh. From their Aqua Colonia line. Actually, so I'm gonna say that when I saw that bottle, I knew what that bottle was because they kind of have like a, a distinct yeah, kind of bottle. Style, yeah. yeah. Um, so I knew what that was, mm -hmm. and I was thinking, oh, well, by the time we get to that dry down, it's gonna be gone. Right. Because that's a little weak. Right. But actually, you know, it's really not that bad. It's a little stronger than the original 4711. It is an eau de cologne, so it's not ultra strong. But that being said, it's made to be worn in high heat situations or right. when you want to feel refreshed or enlivened. It says right on the front there, vitalizing. So, yeah. Well, it's vitalizing to me. Yeah. Man, these are some really good fragrance choices. I'm gonna like pat you on the back here. This is really good. Um, you know what? I'm gonna give this a 9.5. Oh, really? Yeah, this is really good. You digging really the good. citrus on that one. Because it was actually really surprising. I yeah. mean, it was shocking to me that number one, that I can actually still smell it pretty well mm -hmm. on the, the dry down, even though, I mean, you sprayed it a while ago. Yeah. The opening is also fantastic. There's the opening. It's like a lemon candy. Yeah, it smells really good. Next up, we've got eight in Bob. Champs de Provence. Champs de Provence. Okay, okay. It's got a green bottle. Yeah. See that? I do, so that's like my favorite color of green. Yeah. So I do thoroughly enjoy that bottle. I like it. Yeah. 
Very classic. I don't think it comes across on camera all that green. I think it's probably, yeah. you know, probably looking a little black. But probably. No, so that's nice, rich emerald green. Um, I like that one. I like that one uh, decently, but I do not like it as much as the last two. Mm. It's citrusy, but it's not like pow, like punch to the face citrus. Yeah, all of these have citrus, but they're differing levels of how much the citrus is the focal point. And different uses, I guess, too. Yeah, some so. of them are just, hey, here's citrus, thank you very much. Others are citrus along with other things. So. Yeah. Um, I like this one okay. I'm gonna give it a 7.75. 7.75. I will say that I think I agree with you. Uh, I don't dislike that fragrance, but it also doesn't blow my socks off, I'll yeah. say. Uh, that's how I feel about it. Thought I dropped one, but I did not. What am I doing? <laughs> Phantom sensations. <laughs> Phantom. I feel how I look, which is uh, not great. <laughs> like no. uh, I said earlier, I felt like Bernie from Weekend at Bernie's. You remember that movie? He's dead. Bernie's dead, and okay. they just they they hold him up the whole time like he's alive. Uh, you remember that? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. me. You throw yeah. some shades on me, I'll. <laughs> oh yeah, radiant bergamot. <laughs> that's <laughs> what we're smelling right now. By Ferrari. Yeah, see, that's what the people want to hear. Ferrari. What the fragrance? No, nah, they want to hear about Weekend at Bernie's. It's nostalgia. I like this one. Okay, it's also too. Green. Yep. Yep. This one's actually on the uh, the little sniffing strip here. It's actually a little bit weaker than the... Um, 47 Yeah. <sighs> yeah, it's weird. 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 Strange. Yeah. Weird. But this one's also kind of like one of those um, really uh, like sugary sweet huh. uh, citruses. It's a little soapy to me. Yeah, I can see that. Um, I like it okay. It's also kind of like the um, eight and Bob. It doesn't really blow me away. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it an eight. An eight. Um, yeah, I like it just a little bit more than yeah. the eight and Bob. I think it's a, a nice fragrance. Um, mm -hmm. Clean, easy to wear, office safe, and inexpensive. Yeah. So a discounter is really cheap. Uh, next, we've got Scorza di Sicilia from Verdu. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like this one okay. The drawdown is like a uh, kind of clean citrus. Mm -hmm. It's still kind of on par with like the other last two that I've smelled. It's not like not, mind not standing or anything, out but, a huge amount. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, it doesn't smell bad by any means yeah. whatsoever. Uh, I'll give that. I'm gonna give it an eight also. Okay, so here's your first dry down here of Lacoste Yellow, and it's in a yellow bottle. So I'm gonna go with a uh, citrus there again, with the theme. Here, on top of things. I'm gonna go with a lemon, maybe. Hmm. Yeah. Actually, uh, that one's kind of surprising too. Yeah, this is uh, a Lacoste from the L1212 line that I like a good amount. Yeah, no, I like that one. Yeah. It's also kind of, a, you know, when you smell Lacoste fragrances, it's usually ones that, in fact, they're not doing anything like crazy different. They don't. Yeah. They play it safe. Yeah, and they're not really trying to like blow anybody away or anything. This one actually, I like it. It smells good. Well, I mean, they're really well known for, for polos and tennis wear and stuff like that. So to an extent, some of, or the majority of their fragrances are like polos in the sense that they're pretty easy to wear. Just yeah. kind of safe. Uh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give that an 8.75. I like that one a lot. Yeah, I like Lacoste Yellow. I think for summertime, it gets overlooked a lot. Mm -hmm. Not too expensive, easy to wear. Just a dumb reach kind of deal. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, next up, we're gonna go with the Coach. And it's Coach Blue. It's got a little tag. Yep. It's like some of my purses with a little tag on it. Yeah. Look at that, so classy. Just so, so classy. You know, the dry down actually isn't too far away from the opening there. Well, pretty similar. I can spell it from here. Good projecting then. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, I like this one. Um, it kind of reminds me of one of those like safe ones. It's probably one of those like dumb reaches that you're not really gonna upset anybody by wearing. Actually, I'm gonna go with a 8.5 on that one. 8.5? Yeah. Got a lot of good scores. But I mean, with citrus, it's pretty hard to completely screw it up. I've That's smelled true. some citrus fragrances that are really bad, but it's kind of hard to. 
All right, so the next up <laughs> one is... The next up one. In New York, Van Cleef in our pals. Notice it's Van Cleef in our pals, mm -hmm. not Van Cleef in our oh pals. I can't even like roll my eyes hard enough. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty bad. Um, I like that one quite a bit. I'm gonna give it an 8.5. 8 8.5. I know we're gonna have some ties, so hopefully not like Yeah, too I mean, it's fine, it's whatever. Um, we've got a lot of things in that eight range. Um, so that's good. A lot of decent stuff here. Solid. Next one up, Fahrenheit Cologne from Dior. I don't often think of that one as a citrus one. Well, there's some citrus in here, along with violet, but okay, so. also citrus. This was essentially the uh, follow-up, the replacement to Aqua Fahrenheit. I'm gonna just spray some Aqua Fahrenheit, and you tell me which one you like more, just for science. Because this is very scientific. Yeah. I don't know, I mean, they both really honestly do like totally different things. Yes, but well, which one is better? I'm gonna say that one. Yeah, thank you. So Fahrenheit Cologne, back to business. Um, because that one's discontinued. I'll catch Fahrenheit is. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this a 7.75. <gasps> Sacre bleu. Not digging that one as much. Yeah, it's all right. I like it okay. Uh, so Fahrenheit Cologne, I don't dislike it, but I do think it's not as good as Aqua Fahrenheit. So they were basically like, summer type versions, warm mm -hmm. weather versions of uh, Fahrenheit. This one came first, Aqua Fahrenheit. And then it got the ax. And then this one came out. So it's not necessarily completely a one-to-one -one replacement, but it, it kind of is. And I don't think it's as good. Yeah, I mean, they don't really smell very similar at all. Yeah, yeah. And I, and I wouldn't say that they necessarily have to. It's right. just if you're gonna replace one uh, summertime scent with another, Maybe make the new one better. Aventus Cologne. So we went from Fahrenheit Cologne to Aventus Cologne. So, ooh, look at that. It sprayed out forever. It hit the light. <laughs> it's, this is an, another one of those times where I'm like, oh, Aventus, like, I mean, I know like everybody and their mamas is probably like tired of hearing about Aventus or some people are. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And then some people can totally talk about Aventus like all day, every day, they love Aventus. Also for sure. So, but I'm one of those people that like, I love Aventus. I mean, like I'll never stop loving Aventus. I'm probably gonna love the majority of Aventus clones. I mean, I just love that smell. It, yeah. it just, it is what it is. It tapped into your brain. Yeah. yeah. So as soon as I saw that, I was like, ooh, that one's gonna be the winner, I know. Ooh, Aventus. It's another time to where like you kind of judge a book by its cover. But actually, you know what? What? I'm gonna give it a 9.25. <laughs> by you doing what you have done, you have set in motion a clear top three. Yay. Yeah. Thank, thank Jesus. <laughs> this doesn't usually happen, so. <laughs> Hold up, you win a smell, you win a. <laughs> you still win. I, I still, like, honestly, like, this one sticks out in my mind. All right. Still. More power. Most. Hold up, your second place. Now smell your second place. I don't know what I'm doing. You still want that in that position? Okay. I think so, yeah. I'll smell the BDK, but. Okay. Citrus Riviera, that's your third place. Smell your third place. Yes. I stand you're by. You're confident. Yep. In your decision. Yeah. All right. It is settled for this citrus battle. Uh, enormous underdog, 4711 lemon and ginger coming out in first, eking out Aventus Cologne and Citrus Riviera. Now I will say that in my humble opinion, that Aventus Cologne and Citrus Riviera probably are gonna last longer and therefore be more versatile in the sense of getting you longer through your day. But 4711, that scent profile, lemon and ginger, is hard to dislike. Oh yeah. So yeah. I doubt that even if you spray on a bunch of this, that people are gonna, you know, think that it smells bad. No, that was for sure the most uh, surprising. Actually, I, I mean, I wouldn't even mind wearing that. Yeah, well, yeah, it's unisex. So it's got a big bunch of lemon and a big bunch of ginger. Yeah. And I've talked about it a million times. When you put ginger with citrus, they go like this. They hold hands. They just, the hot and the cold 
are, are both, both so intense. intense. Put them together. It just makes sense. That's right. <laughs> All right, that's gonna do it. Uh, overall, good showing here. A lot of yeah. good, good fragrances. Anything else to say? No, I don't think so. Me either. I'm out of here. I'm gonna throw on some shades and sit in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Zone out.